What is going on guys? It is great to see you back here on the channel and today I've got a tip for you that if you don't know this, it's something that could drive you bonkers. At least it did for me for a while until I learned about this tip. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Jay Yudlowski and on this channel we talk a lot about DaVinci Resolve, some photography, Photoshop, a little Lightroom, and even some gear stuff because everybody loves some gear stuff, right? So let's jump into the video. Here's the problem. You're playing through your video and it just keeps stopping. It won't play through your entire timeline. You get to a certain point and boom, it just stops. Maybe it's trying to go through a fusion clip and it just stops and you don't know why. You can't figure it out. What's going on? Or maybe you're trying to render out your project and the render just keeps stopping. It keeps junking out at, I don't know, however long. At a certain spot, it gets there, stops, it doesn't work anymore. I'm going to show you two settings here in preferences that will stop that from happening. And this was a game changer for me because in the beginning when I got started with Resolve, I was having issues all the time. It wouldn't render out. I didn't know what was going on, but these two settings should help fix that problem for you. So let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and check it out. Okay, we're here in Resolve. I have a random project open. So the two settings you need to know about, come up to DaVinci Resolve, come down to Preferences. Make sure you are in the User section here and under UI Settings. Then come down to these last two items here. And for me, by default, they were checked on, but you wanna make sure that these are checked off. This first one says, stop playback when a drop frame is detected. And that means when you're playing through your timeline, say there's a drop frame in a fusion clip or something, then DaVinci Resolve is gonna stop the playback of your video. So you don't want that, you just want it to keep going. So unchecking that will allow your timeline just to keep playing. And the second option down here, stop renders when a frame or clip cannot be processed, will tell DaVinci Resolve, hey, even if you drop a frame while you're rendering out the video, just keep going, don't stop. So this one drove me nuts for a little bit in the beginning when I first got started with Resolve because I kept having errors trying to export projects. But I unchecked it, no problem. All my projects exported fine and it never stops a render because of a frame or clip that can't be processed. So there you go, two little settings right there in preferences that could cause some big problems for you, or at least it did for me anyway, and drove me nuts. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey.